Dealsource.tech is your number one source for daily tech deals for all of the US, UK, and Canada. All of the deals are handpicked and updated daily. If you guys are interested in saving time and money, then just bookmark the website and feel free to check back whenever you want. There are always new deals getting added every day. I'll drop a link in the description down below. What's up everybody? Today we are back with more Android home screens, but this time we are checking out home screens that you guys submitted to me after my last video. So let's get right into it. Before we begin, I'd like to let you know that if you're trying to submit a home screen for this series, the instructions to that will be in the link in the description, so don't forget to check those out. The very first home screen we're taking a look at is by user at KingJ35. So this home screen is very nice, it's very simple, it uses the apps Immaterialistic Icons, Min for Zooper Widget, and of course Nova Launcher and Zooper Widget Pro. So let's get right into it. The very first thing he does is he goes into the Nova settings and then he just applies the immaterialistic icons. Next he goes home and he makes a Zooper widget. He then goes in and selects the widget called 20-V. Then he goes and changes the scaling on this widget. This is to make it fill more of the space. As you can see he just goes home after that and that is pretty much this whole setup. He has the apps arranged in a, a triangle formation. You can go ahead and do this. And I would recommend you use this setup with any wallpaper that has a nice pattern to it in the background. Anyways, let's go right on to the next submission. This second home screen that we have was submitted by user at Pure Hacker. However, I was unfortunately unable to use this video. So I, what I did was I was able to go in and replicate as much of his home screen as possible. And I'm going to be showing that to you guys. So first, the apps that I used are called RL Widget Collection for Zooper. So you go in, you create an, a Zooper widget, you go into the RL collection and you select the widget that is called Huge Date. Once you've done this, I go in and I just change the scale as it's pretty simple. You don't have to, but it's just personal preference. After that, I go in and I create another widget. This time I make it blank. This is so that I can make the box to store apps in. In his home screen, he has it set up. So anyways, I select an empty widget. You go into layout and then you add a rectangle. Once you do this, you go in and you make it the size, height and width that you want. I want it wider than I want it higher because I just want one row of icons. And then you go down and you select the outline and the outline basically determines whether the box has a filled gradient or a thick line. As you can see, I just set it at four. You can set this at however you want. But basically once you're done with this, I go in and scale it. And then I also go back and change the transparency of the background so that it's fully transparent. Once you've done this, the next step that you want in order to achieve the box surrounding the apps is you want to go into the Nova settings. And once you're there, you're gonna go into the desktop and you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and select the option that is widget overlap. This is under the advanced tab, so you wanna make sure that shows up and you wanna make sure once again that it's on. This will allow you to overlap your apps on top of the widget, allowing you to put apps such as Chrome as I'm doing here on into the box. Now, as you can see, there's room for two more apps. You can also resize the box, but it won't change sizes. To do this, you're gonna have to go into the Zuber widget and you're gonna have to edit the rectangle that you made and make it wider. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this setup, guys. It's pretty simple, and unfortunately, I was unable to get his wallpaper or the icon pack that he's using, but I think you can, you guys can choose one based off your liking, and it would still look very clean. For this setup, I would recommend a wallpaper with lighter colors so that it doesn't mess with the icons or the beautiful widget. As you can see, I've just chosen a beach with a light sky on top, and I think it looks very clean. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video, and until the next time, stay fresh. Thank you.